In this video we'll be looking at installing the service kit for the BG56 but it's also suitable for the BG66, SH56, BR200 and SR200. Inside the kit we have the air filter We have fuel filter and the spark plug. Okay, in no particular order, but let's look at the air filter first. You'll have to take the actual filter cover off just to quarter turn, then slide the uh, little baffle piece off. And in this case, we have one of the orange foam oil impregnated filters. Um, those are ideal for really dusty conditions and so therefore if you're still operating your machine in what you know to be really dusty conditions it can be preferable to replace one of these so these are still available under part number if you see your local still specialist dealer but generally speaking this filter here is, is ideal for this machine um, and again if you are working in some particularly dusty environments a little bit of oil on this foam can be of some benefit but generally speaking yeah you fit this in dry out of the box uh, as we see here filter goes in place baffle goes back on filter cover quarter turn the filter is in the fuel filter Now, it helps if you have some kind of hook, so whether you've got your own bit of wire that you can bend a hook into, uh, you need to get in there and fish out the fuel hose and filter. You can stretch and pull on this a little bit, but just be cautious not to stretch and pull on it too hard that you cause something to snap or come undone. Um, a little bit tricky on this particular model, but we've got the filter off and then carefully holding that hose I can get the new filter back on. Just make sure you've got that fuel filter and hose sitting back freely in the tank. All right, and then finally, the spark plug replacement. So this is where your spark plug is under here. Just give that a wriggle and pull the, the boot and terminal out of the way. Don't pull too aggressively on it. You'll need suitable spanner this is a 16 mil so 16 mil tube socket will do the job it's the old spark plug there's the new just pay a close attention to the gap make sure that gap is there that it hasn't been bumped or closed up for any reason. Uh, it should be 0.5 of a millimeter and that looks pretty good to me. Find the new plug in. And then just tighten the plug up to be nice and sort of firm. Certainly don't crank on it too hard. That feels pretty good to me. Put that into place and there we have it. We've done our service, new air filter, spark plug and fuel filter.